Ask anyone around Kenton, Ohio, about an innovative farm operation in their area, and you're likely to hear them mention Watkins Farms. For Brian Watkins, that ahead-of-the-curve mentality is forged by a series of objectives, including profit, yield, maintaining long-term sustainability, taking care of your soils, and being environmentally sound. For years, Watkins Farms has been broadcasting fertilizer in the fall, but recently decided that it would be best for them to work those nutrients directly below the surface. A major factor in Watkins' thinking and philosophy is the issue of soluble phosphorus that is affecting Ohio's water quality. Fall strip till wasn't an option for Watkins, as soil conditions that time of year are too wet, and he felt the benefit wouldn't be there come spring. For those very reasons, Watkins came up with a creative way to apply dry fertilizer using a progressive 60-foot toolbar and 24 Yetter 2987 series high-speed magnum fertilizer cultures. Watkins has created a way to work P&K into fields in the fall and do it in a zero-soil disturbance way. For this spring, Watkins changed out the tubes to use this new innovative tool and tested it out to apply anhydrous to see how much more beneficial it could be compared to knives. That, Watkins acknowledges, has been thought of by large ag manufacturers already, but since the unit he invented worked for P&K six months ago, it was worth a shot with NH3. The process of putting this unique piece of equipment together all started with picking the right toolbar, as the Yetter units aren't sold with a toolbar that is 60 feet wide. Watkins chose the progressive toolbar because of its flat fold design, which helps when it comes to the amount of tubing involved with dry fertilizer. With no template to work from except for the one in his head, it was a matter of trial and error. After a few minor adjustments, fall application was a success, and the first run with anhydrous has gone smoothly. Needless to say, Progressive and Yetter, along with many area farmers, all curious about Watkins' results with his new fangled contraption. For Watkins, it's just another way to do things better. For his farm operation, his land, and the environment. I'm Ty Higgins reporting for the Ohio Agnet.